Hi, so in this video I would like to talk about value based living and uh, about our values, about life domains. In the previous few videos we talked about value based living, how important to l it is to live a life that is aligned with your values so you will have goals that will be aligned with your values. We also talk about uh, how to have uh, uh, how to how to know what how, what are your values are we also talked about uh, domains uh, life domains so you need to have values and you also need to make sure that some of your values that you have that uh, your values are aligned and that you are um, do, um, also performing these values in your life domains and try to have uh, a balance in your domains because if you will not be if you will be ignoring certain domains in your life, then you will not be enjoying your life. You will not have a, a balanced life. You will not have a fulfilling life. So you need to take care of your values. You also need to take care of your domains. So once you create values, so then jot down those values in those life domains. And we talk about different life domains like uh, uh, physical health, mental health, uh, your um, personal growth, work growth, your finance, uh, your family, your um, um, taking care, you taking care of the world, like your neighbor, your relatives, the people around you, have fun, socialization, taking care of your chores, taking care of your finances, all these domains are so, so important. And you might not be able to jot down each and every value in each domain but try to have at least four to six values in each domain and finding values we talked about in previous videos how to find values you can find the list of those values from google and then you can find out uh, by talking to your family members your significant others you can think about previous relationships you were in why it worked why it did not work previous job what you liked in your job what you did not like in your job because a lot of time what you like in your job is because it was aligned with your values and the reason you left is because it was not aligned with your values you can also think about famous um, leaders in the world like nelson mandela gandhi and those kind of people what you liked about them it might be your core value also uh, so watch the other video that we talk about so once you have your values um, try to put at least four to six values in each domain once you finish with this exercise then you have to prioritize your domains we talked briefly about it in the previous videos but i would highly recommend that you always put your health as your first priority your physical health your mental health as your first two priorities you might also consider thinking about how much time you will be given to each domain and you will need to review this list um, each week at least for five minutes uh, because sometimes sometime what happens we are not taking care of all the domains we are missing some domains and sometimes we are busy but if we are not taking care of certain domains for a long period of time it will affect us it will affect our health it will affect our happiness it will affect our balance in our life and once you will have your values um, domains and priority of domains then you can work on creating short term intermediate and long term goals it will be more fil fulfilling to achieve goals now as they will be more aligned with your values again uh, prioritizing your domain does not mean that you are spending more time with the on these domains let's say my first two priorities are my physical health and mental health it does not mean that i'm spending more time on it i'm spending more time on my work but I'm prioritizing those physical and mental health. So in the morning, I'm exercising, I'm meditating, trying to make sure that I take care of these two aspects. I'm spending total of maybe 45 minutes to an hour on those two. And I'm spending maybe six to seven hours each day or maybe more at work. Uh, but I am prioritizing. So you have to have prioritize your domains and have to make sure that you take care of each and every domain and remember remember every domain is important as each domain affect the other domain if you are mentally exhausted then you will be feeling tired and you will not exercise and that will affect your mood 
and it will affect your relationship, your finance, your work. If you're not spending time with your family, then you can have marital problems and your children will not behave well at home. And sometimes they don't behave even if you don't have any problems with a marital problem, but uh, it will affect more if you have marital problem. Um, and when they are not doing well, it can affect your mood, your health, your sleep, which in turn will affect your quality of life, your health, your work and finances. If there are any domains that you think you can spend less time, um, then you might have to consider that is there any way that instead of spending less time that you can ask for help. For example, you can ask someone to help you doing your chores at work. So you can spend time at work or with your family. So you have to juggle things. So when you are studying too much, you are not spending too much time for fun. But still you need some of that. Um, so, so you have to juggle. Even if you are spending less time, you still try to spend some fun time. Because if you are studying too much, not spending too much fun time, then it will you will not be enjoying your life and you it will catch up and then you will be spending more time with studies but the quality of that study time will not be that good and even if there are some time that you are not able to take care of every domain make sure it's temporary so you can come back to take care of that domain and there will be days and time in your life that you need to prioritize which domain you need to spend more time it also depends in which part of your life you are on and uh, if you are married, if you have a partner, if you have children, um, if you are young, you are old. So your value system, your values will change. Uh, but again, I will highly recommend you take care of your physical and mental health uh, first, then take care of other aspects because if you will not take care of yourself, you will not be able to take care of other people and it will affect the other people also. So take care of yourself first and then take care of the other domains of your life. Uh, and continue to work on your values but remember the main thing is continuous growth and continue to improve yourself. So try to, you know, take care of your physical health, mental health but also the growth aspect, your personal growth, your work growth. Try to continue to grow and try to have more challenges in your life because that will teach you how to grow. And that's where goals, creating goals is so important. Short term goal, intermediate goal, long term goal, uh, which are aligned with your values. So you will have something to look forward, something to grow in the future. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.